Watch this if you want to understand the game of speedball more. Uh, he's, on, he's on the wire, he's on the wire, he's rapping, he's rapping! Shoot it, Leo, shoot it! He's rapping! Hey, kill, kill the snake, kill the snake! Okay, now this is textbook speedball. Control the wire and advance down the wire to increase angles on the opponent to eliminate them and win the match. The only problem is that in this match, me and my teammate Leo are the two getting advanced on because there is currently an opponent in the snake and an opponent somewhere in the middle of the field. And if you're new to the tactical game of speedball, the snake is found on almost all field layouts. They don't always look the same, but they are usually superior in a lot of ways because they have these beams that allow the player to crawl down the field undetected, which can confuse the opponent because of the complexity of not knowing exactly where the opponent is. So in this match, the opponent fills into the snake, which I am watching from the center. So what does this mean? This means that if we don't have anybody to watch the opponent, the opponent has the ability to crawl down the whole field undetected if and only if we don't have a wire presence. Meaning, we don't have anybody in the snake to peek down the wire to make sure the opponent is not crawling down. Now, you may ask, why do we have to be in the snake? It looks like this bunker right here can watch down the wire. But if you look closely, you'll see that the bunker is actually inset a little bit and not perfectly positioned for us to look down the wire. So it makes this bunker not very good for watching the wire. So back to the match. The opponent is in the snake and Leo, my teammate, makes a good move and moves into the snake so he can stop the opponent from crawling all the way down. Now, what can the opponent do to battle this? Well, he can control the wire by shooting paint down the wire to prevent Leo from moving down as well. Leo can do the same, which may cause a gun battle if they're both trying to control the wire. Now, let's say the opponent has his gun up and looking down the wire and shooting to prevent Leo from peeking or even advancing. This is the opponent controlling the wire. Leo can stay hidden forever and still be a threat to the wire because he can pop out at any time, making the opponent play cautious, leading to almost a stalemate. So what can the opponent do to increase his threat level to us? Well, he can control his wire, and then he can wrap his bunker to shoot inside at me, thus increasing his angles on us and increasing his threat level. This is a common tactic in speedball where players wrap their bunkers from the wire to increase their angles on their opponent. So if the opponent wraps, he now becomes a threat to me where I have to play tighter or get shot out. The problem is these bunkers are mostly small, so he's bound to find some part of me sticking out if I'm not playing tight, leading to my elimination. Now, I know he can wrap, so what is our counter to this? Well, if I see that he's wrapping his bunker and Leo is in the snake, I can let my teammate know so that he can shoot back at the opponent while he's wrapping to eliminate the opponent, which is exactly what we do. Uh, he's, on, he's on the wire, he's on the wire, he's rapping, he's rapping, shoot it, Leo, shoot it, he's rapping. Hey, kill it, kill the snake, kill the snake.